example number two says about what percent of bags weigh less than 49.8. Okay. Um, so basically, in general, what we've talked about last class period was our normal distribution. Now, in typical normal distribution, we, if you guys remember when we did our normal distribution curve, we didn't really have any heights or anything like that. But in this distribution, what we have here is they actually give us what the percentages is. So um, all we simply need to do is find the percentages for here's the different weights. We just need to calculate the percentages. Now, my little histogram here is not the best representation, so I'm going to also kind of use this um, to verify. So anyways, in number two, it says, what percent of bags weigh less than 49.8? So they're basically saying, from 49.8 down, what is the percent? Well, they give us the percent. In this example, they give us what the percents are for each of these. So for 49.8, what percent do we have? Wait, and if you look, um, you're right. So it's not going to be, you're absolutely correct. Uh, so way less than 49.8. So we're not going to include 49. Oh, I did include. So we're not going to include 49.8. You're right. It's going to go from now. So 49.8 is not included because it would be, say, what is equal to or less than, right? Very good. So we're just going to include 49.7. So if you guys look at 49.7, I see 6%. The next one would be 49.6%. Uh, that estimates for me it'd be 3%. And for 49.5, that looks like it's 1%. Does everybody see I'm doing 6, 3, and 1 from my table? OK, that's the percentages that are less than 49.8. Would everybody agree with me? So you just add them up, which is? Yes. And that's it. Done. That's all you have to do. Um, I'm actually going to do number, wait, oh, 